Hey, this is Adrian Granados, and you're watching True School Sports. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BC, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, uh, what you guys are about to see uh, was an old interview I did back. Uh, I went to La I was in Las Vegas earlier this year, back in February. If you guys who have been subscribed to the channel for a little bit, uh, you guys may remember I went to Las Vegas back in February. Um, and I was at the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame um, uh, announcement, like the people they would announce for the for the Hall of Fame class this year. You had guys like Michael Carbajal and uh, you know Leon Spinks is also another guy. And and right now, what you guys are going to see is a, is an interview I did with Leon Spinks himself. You know, former uh, uh, Olympic gold medalist. You know, beat Muhammad Ali with seven fights. You know, definitely um, a name in the sport. A guy who accomplished some good things in the sport. For millennial champion, so you know, much uh, props to Leon Spinks. You know, I would have put the interview out earlier, but as you guys are going to see in a minute, Leon uh, is very punch drunk, and I had to take the time to, to edit the subtitles. So hopefully, you guys enjoy the the, the very short interview with uh, a man who was uh, once the heavyweight champion of the world. Thank you. All right, so Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with former millennial heavyweight champion Leon Spinks. How are you doing, Leon? I'm doing fine. Doing good. How do you feel about being inducted into the uh, Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame? I'm great. Great? Uh, I feel good. Well, I mean, it's a surprise to me right now because uh, I didn't know how come and get, yeah. get this. So it's great. Yeah, you had a you had a really interesting career. You, you um, I'm not sure if you're the only person to have fought Muhammad Ali and Larry Holmes, but um, I wanted to ask you this is something I wanted to know as a, a boxing fan. Uh, who do you think had the, a better jab? Whose jab was like more crisp, and, and, and which jab do you felt like, was better out of the two? I think mine was a better jab. Muhammad? Yeah, because I, I was hitting him right. Now I was doing the best I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think was it because he was a little bit quicker, quicker than Larry? Was his jab quicker? Like, what, what, what was the difference between their jabs? Well, he was, he was quicker, but I was moving fast, so I can't tell. You, know, you were a different fighter. Huh? So you, you were like a when you fought both of them, you were a different fighter in both yeah. fights. Okay, that makes sense. When, when you look at back, back at your career, like, what do you feel is like your what's your favorite memory of boxing? Oh, in boxing, when I won the Olympics. When you won the Olympics? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people say that amateur boxing is is, is harder than uh, professional boxing. Do, do you believe that? Yeah, and then when it's fine, I can get into it and you stay and you stay fighting. All the time, yeah, more yeah. And more. But uh, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. If there was any advice you could give to like uh, younger fighters, what, what would you tell them? Man, the only thing I tell them, keep your hands up, <laughs> and keep your hands moving. Yeah. That's all you can do. All you could do. Um, do you do you follow the heavyweights today by any chance? Uh -huh. Do you follow like the heavyweight the heavyweight boxers of this era? Yeah. Like, uh, who are some of the guys that you like to watch? Oh, I, 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 Any of them? Anthony Joshua, yeah, Wilder? Yeah, yeah. 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 I enjoy, I enjoy seeing the fight. I enjoy, I mean, I always take me back to when I fight. Yeah. Um, you know, you're, you're on the, you're, you're on the twilight like of, of your life, like you're kind of on the older side of your life. What's, uh, what, what's next for Leon Spinks? What's next? Yeah, what's next with Leon? Like, like, uh, come back. Huh? Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah. He wants all the belts. He wants somebody to move your ass. And then I say, come back. Any, any message, any message to, the, to the boxing world or people, your fans? Uh, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Tell the guys now. Keep your hand up and keep your head moving. And run. Everything will be okay. Everything will be good. All right, Leon Spinks, thank you for talking to True School Sports today.